Hi, welcome to Panda Studios YouTube channel. My name is Dibo Maginya, and I'm coming here today to show you how to connect uh, ChatGPT with your WhatsApp using Windows. I have a previous video that I did, uh, which we were using Mac OS, and we successfully connected ChatGPT to our WhatsApp. So step number one will be to download Python on our Windows computer. First of all, you go to Google, you search um, how to install Python on Windows, and then it will pop up, you'll download it. After downloading it, then you install it and following all the steps. So there are some key elements that I want you to take care of when you install Python on your Windows. First of all, you must make sure that you tick the Python test suite. And secondly, you must make sure that you add the Python environment variables. So here you will go and search uh, WhatsApp GPT Git and then it will show on Google and then you will install. It's by Daniel Gross. When you're done downloading WhatsApp GPT, just make sure that you unzip the folder and make sure that the, all the files are available. So open the command window and make sure that you follow all these steps. In your CMD, firstly you have to make sure that the Python that you have installed is available. And you do so by typing python-version and then it will print out the version that is installed in your computer. If it doesn't, then you have to make sure that you go and reinstall and restart your computer to make sure that everything is fine. Step number four. You will then navigate to the directory where you have saved your WhatsApp GPT, of which in my case is in downloads and um, under the folder called WhatsApp GPT main. When you're in this folder, you then have to run server.py. After running server.py, you will then see that there are some missing packages that we need to install and that is Flask. So we will then have to install Flask. After installing Flask, you can try to run your server.py again and see which folder or which package is missing. When you do so, you will see that Playwright is missing. So in Playwright, there are multiple steps that you have to follow in order to successfully install Playwright. So look in the screen and see how you have to do it.
after successfully installing Playwright, you can then go back and run server.py. At this point, it should run perfectly without any errors because you have successfully installed all the packages that are needed. Most of you, I know you're experiencing problem to successfully open the browser and prove that you're not a robot and you're a human being. That is the problem. So what you have to do, you have to make amendments to the script to make sure that you're successfully opening ChatGPT. And to do this, you have to go and change your Python script to change the browser that you want to use to open your ChatGPT. So you will then go to line number 16 and change Chromium to Firefox. Firefox will successfully open your chat GPT without any errors or any need for you to prove that you're not, you not a robot and you're a human being. And there you go, you have successfully opened chat GPT on a web browser using server.py. So the next step, we are going to install packages that are needed to open a second script, which is main.go. Remember, these scripts work hand in hand in order to successfully connect you to WhatsApp and ChatGPT. So step number seven, we are going to install a package called go. After installing a Go package, make sure that you completely close all the command windows and reopen them again. To test that you have successfully installed a Go package, you then type go-version and then it will print the Go version that you had installed. After trying to run main.go, main you will then see that you are missing another package, the GCC package. So what you're going to do, you're going to follow and go to the website that I'm typing here and Go and install the GCC package. After downloading and opening the GCC package, you are going to select create and be able to install it further. After successfully installing the GCC package, you will then have to close this command windows and reopen them again. At this stage, when you run main.go, it should run and show you a QR code that you use to scan when you want to connect to WhatsApp. This is the same as WhatsApp web. On a separate command window, you will then run server.py to make sure that all servers are running successfully. So on a phone that you want to connect ChatGPT to, you will then open it and go and scan the QR code using the link device method. After successfully connecting the phone to your WhatsApp GPT using 
that QR code, you will then get another phone to text your numbers on the phone that you had connected to ChatGPT. After that, it should reply you when you say hi and when you text it, it should reply you from ChatGPT and you will see that on the windows displayed on the computer. Thank you. You have successfully connected ChatGPT to WhatsApp. Drop a comment below. If you need me to do another video, please comment, subscribe, and make sure that you ring that notification bell so that when I upload more videos, you get notified. Thank you very much. 